Welcome back Stone and Squad and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome going for our Mega City Challenge. So, um, I've let a few years go by um, between the last recording just because I wanted to sell this off as much as possible uh, without boring you guys. Uh, but I've decided to start recording now because something interesting has happened. Now, this was Roman and it has uh, suddenly rebelled. And we're going to take opportunity here to declare the war. I'm going to do a no CB war because, honestly, I don't have anything else to do. I'm going to do, like, show superiority. It would allow me to ransack the living hell out of this area as well. Uh, so I've hired mercs here. I'm going to send them there, get them to reorganize. I'm also going to quickly get these guys on the boat. And I do want to send them all the way over here quickly so I can ransack as much of this land as possible. Now, declaring on war on these, it also brings Carthage in, but I'm not bothered. I'll just feed this all to Mauritania, so that is actually not bad at all. I can't raise my levies just yet for some particular reason, but that doesn't really matter. I've got mercs here that I'm going to ferry over. These guys, I'll get them on unit reorganization, so I think we can do this. So, without any further ado, let's roll. Uh, before we do get going, though, Sabonia here broke the tribute, so I'm going to have to get these guys back in at some point, but that is going to be for later. And hopefully just try and kind of get as much gold and as much tech as possible to try and take on the Roman Empire. See if we can actually raid before the end some of their juicy pops along this coast and fill up our city like crazy. Now, with all that said and done, let's lock and load. So, we've got our mercs here. I'm going to get these on unit reorganization pretty quickly. As soon as they're here, we're going to reorganize until the reinforcements arrive. Once these guys arrive, we're declaring war and I'm going to take them on. I, I really want to occupy this as quickly as possible and hand it over to Mauritania. It gets rid of Roman influence, like, or a big chunk of Roman influence out the area anyway. We can get rid of all this, and then they only have this little bit here, which is going to be very difficult for them to defend. So hopefully that's going to be fine. We'll keep in the process of selling to you guys what's left of these areas. I need to keep remembering to do it. But I did forget to kind of hand it over to Peace Treaty when I did it, so that, that's my bad. But it can't be helped. Right, now this 13k stack there, I do need to be careful, because they do have a fair few men. Um, hopefully I have enough. I, I think I should anyway. There's no reason why I couldn't have enough to deal with them. So we'll wait another month or two and see if we can literally get our morale up as much as possible. And then we're just going to ransack everything that I can ransack. Like these places here, I want to ransack them. So maybe one more month we should be able to gain enough morale. Maybe two. I don't know exactly yet. But I do want to take these guys out very quickly. One more month I think is going to be fine. I'll sell you the territory here. We'll keep selling this down. Of course, we're going to need to do that. And at the end of the month of June, we'll declare the war and we'll get in here. They should have four morale by then. Um, I can actually up army maintenance a little bit more. I'm also going to up fleet maintenance a little bit because I completely forgot. And I don't want to get caught. <laughs> I don't really want to get caught and get my fleet killed. So I'll sell you a little bit more territory before we move. So you this. Of course, New Media are going to be big, but um, I'm not New Media, so I'm... Is it New Media? It is New Media. New Media will be big, but I'm not really bothered about that. Um... So you guys are full. There's a 14k stack here that I'm going to have to deal with at some point. But whatever. Um, but I think I can do them, really. I, I could literally hire my... I can get some armies going in December again. So it, it is what it is. It's not too much of a problem. Do I have enough? I think I do. It's 11k stack. They've got 5 morale. What have I got? Well, I've got the same amount of morale. I should be fine, technically, what they got. They have archers... Heavy infantry, I've got heavy infantry there. Heavy infantry, I have more heavy infantry, so I think I can do it. Especially, if we're going to bring new media in, so why not? Let's do it. Let's roll. Um, I'm going to lose stability here. We're getting aggressive expansion, but I don't care. I'm quite high on stabs, so it's not a really much of a problem. Um, it's just like a no-CB war because I want to literally ransack everything that I want to ransack. So we're going to go down here now. Uh, we'll move you over this side. I actually don't need you on unit reorganization. I'm actually going to keep you on unit reorganization for the moment. Just to get the little bit of extra morale. I can't sell that just yet, bro. But that's, it doesn't matter. Hopefully, by doing this, we're going to be pulling in a hell of a lot of um, of slaves. So, seven slaves into Palma there again, which is pretty cool. How are we filling this up? Pretty decently. We need more aqueducts. I'm at 484 pops now. We're going to need more. Now, hopefully, by taking over the province capitals, we're going to be pretty fine, I would suspect. The so morale is full. We have new media that are obviously going to be joining at some point, so it doesn't really make it very worrisome for me. Rome, this is occupied by Carthage, so maybe they're going to peace out at some point. I, I would like to think they would. Um, but if they don't, it doesn't matter. All right, let's keep selling. I need to keep remember, like, to sell the land to new media down here that we have. Get some more slaves. Eight more slaves over there, which is quite nice. And now we'll go on to this, like, city here, and we'll start sieging that down for the ten pops. So we'll go on there. It it's like... 
The slave raiding with mercs is super effective. I'm putting like 10 pops at, 10 pops at a time here. Um, shame I don't have more PI. I would love to be able to bang on another provincial investment. It would be really nice to be able to do so. A new governor is needed here, but I'm not giving it a governor yet because I'm just going to sell the land anyway, so I literally don't give a damn. And um, we're blockading the port there, so that's pretty fine. And we're, we're hot, nearly 1,000. Well, we're halfway to 1,000. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 1,000. Um, it would be great if I could, but it is already the biggest city I've ever made. I mean, I think the previous one was 300. Oh, well, there's a 20k Merc stack there. I don't like that, indeed. Uh, Nimidia, you're not joining? Ah, they haven't joined. Why haven't Numidia joined? Oh, I may not have called them in. Can I give you a call to arms? I cannot get them in. Maybe I didn't call them. Maybe I forgot to call them. Or is there a reason they didn't join? Maybe because they were disloyal? I, I, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. We have more guys coming in anyway. We have so many of them. Um, can I actually raise my... Levies yet? Not yet. I'll get them pretty quickly. As soon as we can, I'll raise them. But I'll go and deal with that 20k stack. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go and deal with that 20k stack now. That's a dangerous Merc stack. I don't want them being a pain. So I'll go and deal with them pretty quickly. I think it's the best option. I'll sell this here. That's fine. Get rid of that. Uh, veterans move on. I think I lose state-owned farmland with this. No, I gain state-owned farmland. Be nice. Uh, but I'm going to go and kill this guy pretty quickly here. I don't want him getting morale and then dealing with me. It's just going to be too annoying if they do. So now I can probably get rid of them. Not got rid of them just yet. I sent them packing. Can I have access with you guys? I can have access with these dudes. Which I will. I'll get access with you quickly. I might be able to kind of catch them. I'm hoping I can. You know what? I can actually literally ransack this city as well. No reason why I can't do it. None at all. They might be retreating on me down here. Oh, but they're not. There's another 22k Merc stack over there, which is not cool. We're going to send you down that way. Got, what, another six pops there? That's good. That's good. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's more stuff for us. More slaves. And as many slaves we can pull is better. Oh, he's occupied this now, so I can't sell the land. That's a bit of a pain. Um, I'll quickly peace out, though, I think. I think I can quickly peace out. We'll take this, we'll take this. Can I actually assault this yet? Not at the moment. But once we take that, we should be fine. I can actually probably go down and ransack some of this stuff. Well, where's my, um, where's my guys? I can probably raise my levies now. I can raise these extra levies, which I, I am going to go and get them. I think it's a safe bet. I think I've got 9k extra there, so we might as well go and get the guys. I mean, they just have a lot of mercs in the area, so... If they really want to annoy me, they can. Okay, we've done the siege there. We captured 10 pops out of that thing. Is that a great wonder? Oh, they're building a great wonder. Okay, that's interesting. So, where are we going to go now? That's a good question. Let's go down here. Let's go down the tack pest, wherever that is. Um, where's my other mercs? Do I have other mercs? Oh, I did. They're there. All right. So, now we're going to go all the way down here. We'll occupy all this stuff. We've got the main fort, so pretty much done and dusted. I'm not really bothered about them occupying that down there. It's really not my problem. So now I'm going to have try and get... I can't have access with you, so I'm going to have to get the navy to go across here. I'm literally blocked. But it's fine. Again, all this will just hand it over to our claim. Uh, what are we like now, by the way, in terms of pops? 514 out of... Yeah, I need more. We can at least be building, like, three aqueducts. How long have I got left? I've got about 50-odd years, I think, to be able to do this. Is there a fort here? I don't think there is a fort. I can literally occupy this. I might be able to piece them out pretty quickly. I'm not bothered if I don't get everything. Um, by the way, you're here, so we'll get you guys out. We'll bring you over to the other side. Hopefully get another couple of pops in here, I think. How many are on there? I don't know how many. We'll check in a minute. Another four pops. We'll take that. Um, I can't... I can ask for military access. It doesn't make any sense. I can literally ask for military access, but I can't do anything else. It's, it's very odd indeed. Um, so we're now going to occupy these two areas. We'll take this, and the other one's going to take that. Once that's done, I think we're going to be fine. A little bit of popularity, gain some discipline. Why not? You guys, I'm just going to send you all the way down here in case you never know. But I don't think it's going to be too much. Actually, it's all been occupied. Well, I think this is done and dusted now. 
So let's hand this over to Mauritania. I want to make sure we hand it to the right guy. Um, now I can't hand it to Mauritania for some. I wonder why. What about this? Maybe I can't take the land in a piece. Maybe I can't take it because I've done su show superiority. Oh, they've not joined the war. That's the reason why. Okay, well, I suppose we can... I, I suppose I can sue for peace. Um, probably kind of take them over myself. I mean, it means I'll have to sell the land again, which is really annoying. Um... Of course, they didn't join the war. My client state didn't join it for some particular reason. So, wow, that is like super expensive. Um, yeah, it's super expensive because I don't have the... Uh, it wasn't a war for claims. So, it's basically costing me a lot of cash. But I can make them tributary. I can actually separate piece, I think. That might be wise. Oh, no, I can't because it occupies all my land over here. But again, it's like, I'm not really bothered about it. It's just like for the pops, to be honest. So, Adramuntum, I can get these as a client. This blocks roaming, which I'm quite happy with. Or I could get them to break up these different... I don't even want to break them up. A tribute will be fine. Yeah, we'll do that. It was only for the pops anyway, really. That's now my tributary, which is fine. Um, Carthage, I'm at peace with them, but I don't care. Um, can I declare war against Carthage? No, I can't. Rome might take this little bit, but I'm not really bothered about it. So, who gives a damn? Now, I can get rid of some of these mercs. Like, which one do I want to get rid of? I can probably keep this one. How much are they costing me? They're costing me only nine per month. These are costing me six. So, I'm going to get rid of the ones that are actually costing me six per month. I'm going to disband you. And then this 15k stack I'm going to keep. So, we'll send you over here. We'll send you back over this side. Oh, I can't. I'm stuck there. Okay, that's, that's fine. Um, let's go and pick them up then. I'm going to go over here. We'll go and pick these guys up. We'll keep selling some of the land off to our client. I don't know why they didn't join or anyone. Maybe because they're too big? I don't know. Am I improving? I mean, your opinion of me is pretty high. I've got another potential tradition, so I'm going to have a look what we can take here. Oh, I'm going to take this. Le National manpower and levy size multiplier. Some extra freemen. I mean, hell yeah, let's take it. I mean, do I have do I have enough room? That is a good question. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till I can. I'm gonna wait till I get the extra. There we go. I've got the aqueduct, so that's fine. But now I can actually go for that tradition, and I think that would be quite cool. A levy size multiplier increase is nice, but also the extra freeman, which is also very nice indeed. How are we in terms of pop wise, like promotion stuff? How's it going? We've got a load of slaves. We don't really have that many freemen, uh, no, that many citizens, but it's just like we're filling it up with slaves so much. And now what's our levies like now? Oh, I need to disband them to find out. So we'll, we'll disband them fairly soon and we'll be able to find out. More trade routes. We're going to need more food, obviously. Because we're just getting so many goddamn pops in. Uh, New media will trade with you, of course. More gold means more... Well, more gold to make with you means more you're going to pay us, which is always a very good thing to have. And so I'm quite happy with that. Let's quickly move my mic a little bit. I think I've got it in the wrong area. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Um, lose 10 stability for 48 PI. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not really that bothered about the stability. We're, we're a very tiny place, so it doesn't really bother me too much. I am going to promote infrastructure spending again, though. Just because um, I want to get the extra pop capacity. I'm going to get as many as we can get. I might actually go to war with Sabonia pretty quickly here. Just so I can get the extra pops. Just so I can slave raid again. I mean, the more we can pull in, the better it is going to be for us. And the more cash we're going to make um, in terms of our fight with Rome. So I'm going to get the army maintenance down... Uh, fleet maintenance, I'll keep it like that for the moment. I'm not going to disband my levies. I'm actually going to kind of bring them all together. I think it's the safest thing to do. I'm going to use them anyway to take on Sabonia. So I'll sell this to you. Keep saying the last little bastions we've got over in Africa here. Maybe Massilia. What's our peace treaty finish? 671. I've still got quite a bit of time to can finish them off. Oh, we'll use some more stability. You've got to be kidding me. So we're quite low on stability now, which is, um, which is not cool. All right, let's get you guys on the boat quickly. Thank you. Sell a little bit of extra land to you. There's only like a few pieces left. I still can't believe I didn't like take it properly. I should have paid more attention when I was doing the peace treaty. Um, but anyway, let's get you guys over here. I think I have enough food on these guys. Yeah, I have more than enough food to survive to get over there. And then just declare war. 
But then, of course, raid. Raid, raid, raid. By the way, um, we have a new ruler, and I forgot to mention that. And um, what do you have? Do you have anything for slave efficiency? No, you don't. We have decent martial, which means our slavement efficiency should be okay. It shouldn't be catastrophic. Like the last one, because he had Merciful, I think. Or she had Merciful. Um, I have married him off to somebody, by the way, pretty quickly. Um, where is he? I'll just quickly show you guys. Married off to her. She's 18. Hopefully she'll get... Hopefully he'll get some children before he dies. I really don't want him dying. I hope that's going to be possible. 8th of December now. Let's actually um, up the game speed. I don't need to wait too long now. We'll kind of sell all this stuff then. Thank God all of that is gone and I don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, Rome are still fighting the Civil War, but they shouldn't be able to get in now and this revolt should win because they have no access to it. They can't have military access with me because I'm going to refuse it. So they should be fine. They're still fighting Egypt for some horrible reason. Um, I mean, it might be the time to take them down. I mean, I could potentially take them down. I'm going to cancel military access. Um, I, I think I've got a claim on them. I, I mean, where were they fighting? I mean, they're fighting Egypt and they're fighting all the way down here, I think. And I think everything else is pretty much unguarded. I mean, I'm... Well, this is really risky. Um, I'm really, really tempted to strike. I really am, but I don't have the pot capacity. We'll see where this pot capacity takes us. So I'm now at 456. Okay. Do I... Take him point. The war's been going on for quite a while. I, I, I don't think it's the right time. I really don't. I want to get these guys back tributary first, and we'll see what happens. So let's actually quickly take these guys out. Just because I can actually get a lot of this, um, a lot of these pops... If like enslave them all. What's our enslavement efficiency? He's okay actually now. That's not bad. So I'm quite happy with that. I'll get these guys back, make them a tributary again. Um or two researchers needed, so that's fine. We'll then put this guy because we're the best. I keep forgetting to sell my land. I really need to remember to do this. Um so we'll sell this. There we go. So they joined this time. I don't know why they didn't join the other one. Maybe they had a peace treaty or something. That's one pop to Palmer, that's not actually that much, but we'll keep raiding, we'll keep slaving everything down. No reason why we can't. Did I, did I get any more there? Got one pop there, so we'll go down here. We've got another pop there. We'll move you up to this side. Let's we'll try to get as many as we can. We'll get some more aqueducts. 522. This is basically a one massive race against time to get to a thousand. I'm hoping I can do it. I'm hoping I can. I, I really would like to because I've never had a mega city before, so. So I, I honestly don't really know how. <laughs> I don't know what would actually happen exactly. Uh, but anyway, we've sold over everything here to Numidia, who are absolutely goddamn massive. Now. So we have big clients. I think Rome, we could really pee them off in some shape or form. It is possible. Um, I just want to see fighting over in Egypt. If there's fighting over in Egypt, then, then I'm... I, I'm very tempted to strike. I, I really am. I, I know it's kind of close and stuff, but I am incredibly tempted to take them down. Uh, you want a position in government, Sehar? The yellow guy? You're a little bit naff, but I'll see if I can give you something. Um, maybe just give him this for the moment. I just want the gold. And then as soon as he gives me the gold, I'll just get rid of him again. I'll quickly go and deal with these guys. Well, I can't. They're faster than me. So we'll go here. Let the game speed down so I know what I'm doing. I wonder where my guys are. My clients aren't joining. Got an extra popping Palmer there. We're going to deal with these quickly. Oh, they're running away. They're actually way quicker than me. Oh, well. Can I do anything else here? I need more pop capacity. I need 72 PI for that. I'm pretty close to being able to do it. And I'd like to get as much pot capacity as we can before we strike against the pesky Romans. They're still fighting. Negative 8. Still losing. So he gives us 200 gold, which is great. So I can actually get rid of you now. And I can just place the old guy back. I just did that for the extra cash, really. I'll place you. That's fine. This guy's taking that down. Um, this is my Merc Commander. So I'm not bothered. I'll just... 
Let you quiet down in time. I'm not really bothered with him. He's my Merc Commander, so it doesn't really change anything. So that's two extra parts. We'll go over here. Should be filling it up nicely. We are 5 2 eight. Two more pops, and we can definitely get another building in there. I've still got quite a few slots available. I could definitely even try and strike over this side before we take on Rome. I just want to make sure we have... That we are in the best possible position to strike at them before I do take them down. Or try to take them down, at least. I mean, look how big they are. Gee, I stay goddamn huge. If only I could get a couple of friends. Um, I mean... I could get some, or if they could, if I could incite a rebellion, if I could incite a rebellion, that would be the best possible scenario, but I might not be able to do that. Um, I mean, they're all incredibly high in terms of uh, loyalty. If I inspired disloyalty with you, how does that work? We'd lose 25, it would be 38 still, you wouldn't still have enough. So inspiring disloyalty is not an option, I don't think that's going to be an option on the table. And for two pots, two Palmer, we're actually filling everything up. And how much gold I'm making, by the way? Quite a lot. And I've got, I've not got my armies on high maintenance or anything. I just, I think I can just hire a massive Merc stack and just take the fight to the Italian Peninsula. Uh, that's, that's how I'm thinking of doing this. Uh, I, that's how, it's really the way I'm thinking of, of proceeding with this thing, is to do it that way. I'm not going to take them navy wise. I'm going to need to strike quickly. And then I'm going to need to try and take as much stuff as I can possibly take. So we'll go for another aqueduct. I need 72 PI. Give me something good. Can I, can I do some more? I'm still influencing, which is interesting. Can't do anything else here. I don't need to change any laws, so I don't need to do any of that stuff. You're going to go and deal with this guy down here quickly, and we'll just try and take this on. Then once this is occupied, we'll, we'll piece him out. Extra trade. I'm going to want to go for more grain here. We need to fill up as much grain as possible and get it all ready. Um, Numidia, can we improve opinion with you? No, I'm still improving opinion with them. Quite high, actually. They're all really, really high. You're not that high, actually. So, let's improve opinion with you. I can improve it by a lot. The rest have been improved significantly. They have navies. They don't have... Well, actually, they have a fair amount together. If they banded together, we may have well over 200 ships. That might be something interesting. Um, I can probably go for some more Hexiers here. Um, number of Triremes, I think one, one, two, three, four to go to 70. Okay. I'm going to want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to want to have quite a few ships, to be honest. I do want to make sure that we have enough to take them on. I mean, I have a fair few. Just Rome have more. I mean, a lot more. Still no fighting over here. They're just all fighting over on this side, but... Again, I don't trust Roman soldiers. I mean, they could just hire a load of... I think they make so much gold within the Roman Empire that they can literally just... Like, hire mercs all over the place. Um, that's not something I want them to do. And I need a little bit more PI so I can get the extra infrastructure. 2.5% pot capacity is what I want. I would like it quickly. Very quickly indeed. Like, very, very goddamn quickly. Can we do it now? I can. So, pot capacity, 2.5%. We'll take that. It costs a lot of gold, but I, it's like I'm, I'm willing to pay it. I really am. Something that I feel is worth it. Oh, we've changed. Looks like we've changed the majority culture in here. It's Punic, so the buildings have changed. That's interesting. What's our rule, though, is he, by the way? He's canon. He's Talowatic. Taliotic. But the culture's changed in our glorious city of Guyan. So the buildings are no longer hooked. We have, like, a majority of Punic pops, which is interesting. Anyway, the siege here has been won. Now it's all been taken, and I'll just make them into a like, tributary again, just for the extra cash. Oh, no, there's still... Oh, no, yeah, I can do it. I can piece them out. So, let's see. Yeah, I want them as a tribute. Do tribal vassals join wars, by the way? Yeah, they don't join wars, so when we'll make it a tributary. That works for me. So that will teach you to actually not be my tributary anymore, so... Aha, uh -huh, on you. Oh, right, we'll get the extra morale here. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know what I want to do here. I am incredibly tempted to strike against Rome. Try to break them up. But is it too risky? I mean... 
can try to take down Corsica as quickly as possible. Maybe... I honestly don't know. I mean, what's their fort levels here? In Rome, they've got a level 6 fort. I'm never going to be able to take that out. Not within lightning speed. Unless I hire the most mercs I can possibly muster. Um, I still make 25 cash. These are going to cost me 33. I think it's going to be cheaper once I hire them. Because, I mean, how much are my actual mercs over here costing me? So, I've got a 15k merc stack. They're costing me 8. And that's only that's a 15k merc stack. And I have a reduction... So maybe that is the way forward. Just like maybe. Or do I try to take these guys out here quickly and gain as many pops this way as possible? I mean, that is doable. How many pops do they have? I mean, I'm actually kind of clutching at straws. They don't have that many pops, but I suppose I could take them on. I could actually literally disband my levies. I wouldn't need them. Uh, I can just hire another Merc stack. Because the Merc stack is incredibly useful for... We're really kind of pulling in pops through enslavement. Is there any merc stack around this area that we can hire? Like you, but you've got no marshal, which is crap. I don't want that. You, though, are pretty decent. I can hire you. I think I might hire these guys. I'm incredibly tempted to. And I can make another set of tributaries or something. I mean, what's the government types? Do, is, are they all monarchies or are they all, are they all tribal? I would love them to be monarchies. Aha, you're an autocratic monarchy. Now I can turn you into something. I can turn you into a client. And then I can add you the rest of the stuff. You know what? I'm gonna make a big I'm gonna make a big Gaelic client on Rome's borders. Over on this side, which would allow me to free up a front. That might be an option. And I think that is what I'm gonna do. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to hire this Merc Band. Straight away, okay? I'm going to get you on unit reorganization as soon as I can. As soon as you stop moving. Okay. Alright, now you're on unit reorganization. Now I'm going to want to send you all the way over this side. I'm going to declare war on this one. That's going to bring the whole coastline in. And I'm just going to turn you into a client. And then I'll add you all the land once I've turned you into a client. And that would make some big and annoying client on Rome's border. Which we can then like use in order to take care of them. And that seems to be the best course of action here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a cut here in the video. In the next episode we'll go to war against these guys. We'll take them on. I'm actually going to declare it now to be honest. And um, Actually I'll declare it in the next one. So we'll declare it in the next one. We'll take out these guys. We'll make one massive client state. And once that's done, uh, we'll try and figure out a way to take on Rome, I think. It, we, we have to. It's got to be like the ultimate war goal or the end goal. has got to be to try and break up Rome. And with another client here, I'm fairly confident that we can do it. But um, anyway, as usual, thank you so much for joining me, fellas. If you enjoyed things, then please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, then please do consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thank you so much for being here. And I'll hope to catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.